from at least top 5% of the Korean social class. His MBTI personality type is INFJ. He's a natural born athlete in many different sports. When it comes to a romantic relationship, he's a devoted type. So he says he's shy around girls he likes, and he'd rather hide his true feelings than asking her out. People say that he looks so different from how he looks now, suspecting that he's got plastic surgery. With the Netflix drama Dust and Witty ranked number three on the global chart as of September 2023, popularity for the male lead role Rohun is growing faster than ever. In fact, he's already established himself as a classic beauty in Hanbo, a Korean traditional costume through the Netflix historical drama The King's Affection. But I've only recently started to take an interest in this beautiful creature, so I've decided to make a video about him which is long overdue. I've searched even the smallest details about him for the fans from overseas. Many words describe him, but the one that fits him best is Chong Sok Minam, a Korean word for the classic standard handsome. His tall stature, well-built body, and almost perfect facial features make him the classic standard handsome in Korean culture. To give you examples of such, born in the 1970s, Chong Woo Sung, Won Bin, and Ko Su. In the 1980s, Kang Dong Won, and Hyun Bin. And in the 1990s, Park Bo Gong, Cha Eun Woo, Song Gang, and Ro Eun. Well, I'm sorry for their fans, but actors like Lee Jun Ho, Nam Joo Hyuk, and Park Seo Joon are, of course, very beautiful and charming, but they're not what Koreans would consider classic handsome. In Korean beauty standards, actors with perfect figures that look like they just walked out of animation are usually referred to as Gomminam, flower boy, meaning that their beauty is like a flower, and other charms are called Hunnam, meaning that they are like warm spring breeze to your heart. See, this isn't awkward at all when he says these cringy lines because it sounds so obvious and natural when he says them. 당신은 지금 흔치 않은 길을 잡은 거야. 어때? 위에서 보는 내 얼굴. 속눈썹이 길어서 눈이 그윽하다는 얘기를 많이 듣는데. Okay, enough bragging about his beauty. Let me quickly skim through his stats. Official alias: Roon. Real name: Kim Seogu. In Korean Hangul, it's written this way, and in Chinese, this way. Born 7th August 1996 in Seoul, currently 27 years old. He was born and raised in Daechidong, Gangnam. If someone's from Gangnam, especially Daechidong, it means that they're from at least top 5% of the Korean social class. He's from a family of four. He has two parents and an older sister. He has a cat named Choco. Blood type B. His MBTI personality type is INFJ. His profile says he's 189 centimeters tall, but he's actually 192 centimeters tall, making him the tallest K-pop idol. Most Korean idol boys are between 175 centimeters and 185, so when he's on stage as a singer, he stands out like a runway model. Due to his tall height, one of his many nicknames is Landmark, because it's so easy to point him out even from a distance. He probably took it from his tall mother, his sister is also tall. She's about 178 centimeters. Many of his fans assume that his sister is equally stunningly beautiful. In an interview when he was asked if his sister was as beautiful as he is, he said no without a hesitation. He likes to take hikes, work out, play tennis, and read. According to his friends, he is a natural born athlete in many different sports. Ha, huh, would the girls at that gym can really focus on their workouts? I know, I'd spend hours just drooling over him. His religion is Catholic and his baptismal name is Marcellino. He mentioned in an interview that he was active as an altar server from a very young age. And he often went to the earliest morning prayers with his mother. If I could see him in a priest's basement, it would satisfy my dark fantasy in many ways. Like I said earlier, his MBTI personality type is INFJ, which means that he is patient, insightful, intuitive, and seeks harmony. It's surprising that he is an introvert when he seems to be a social butterfly. SF9 members say that he is a very tidy person. He hates clutter, so he always keeps the place he shares with the members tidy and clean. Because of this personality, he is said to be the most nagging person among the members. His nagging is mainly about separating recyclables and washing dark and white clothes separately. Oh, just like my mom. He's also known as the ramen chef among the members because he's very confident when it comes to making ramen. 
is also known to be the closest to Chan Hee among the SF9 members. So he gets another nickname, Chan Hee Mom, because he's often spotted taking care of Chan Hee like a big brother, little brother. For those who don't know who Chan Hee is, he took the sub male lead role in the Netflix drama Queen's Umbrella. Yes, he was that annoying prince we all hated. Aside from Landmark and Chan Hee Mom, his other nicknames are Pak Chan Oh and Too Much Talker. Pak Chan Oh, a former Major League Baseball pitcher in the United States, is known for talking a lot and exhausting reporters for his long interviews. How did Do Won get this nickname? Fans who have attended SF9 fan concerts and got his autograph consistently testified that when they stand in front of him, all they get to say is A Chincha Yo, meaning Oh Really in Korean. Why? Because he does all the talking. This is what normally happens at a fan concert. You go to an autograph event for the first time and you stand in front of your favorite star. You are so nervous that you just don't move. You whisper in your head practicing lines that you prepare for your K-pop opa. But that's not the case with Bro. When you step up to the podium for his autograph, he just starts talking and you just nod saying, Achinchayo. I found so many eyewitness accounts online about this. We'll talk about that in the next video if you are interested. What would it be like in a romantic relationship? In an interview, Doon said that when it comes to a romantic relationship, he's the devoted type. When he had a girlfriend before his debut, he would make tea and porridge for her if she was sick, and no matter how far away she lived, he would take the intercity bus to pick her up and take her back home after a date. That's super sweet. However, he doesn't have a lot of experience with girls because he spent six years as an idol trainee and has had an incredibly busy schedule since debuting as SF9 in 2016. So he says he's shy around girls he likes and he'd rather hide his true feelings than asking her out because he doesn't want to ruin the relationship with her and he even said on one show that he thinks he's not so popular with girls. <laughs> Whatever, which made the other guests on the show look ridiculous. But come to think of it, he's too intimidatingly beautiful to approach and talk to. I guess that's what happens with him. From the looks he got, it's only natural to think he'd be incredibly confident, especially in front of girls. But on the talk show he appeared on with Pachinko's female lead, Kim Min Ha, he actually showed a lot of the cute and soft side of him, being very shy and having a hard time making eye contact with her and so on. What does he look for in a girlfriend quality? He says she would be someone who laughs a lot, can have a quality conversation with him, and is passionate about her work. Although he is currently pursuing his acting career in drama settings, he made his debut in the Korean entertainment industry in 2016 as the main vocalist of the K-pop idol group called SF9. He has been an idol trainee for six years and has a sweet voice and good singing skills to match his shining looks. Because he mainly sings fast beat dance music, his vocal range is high pitched, but his actual speaking tone is mid to low. <laughs> 이제까지다 보면서 한 번도 추웠던 적 없어? It is natural for him to dance and sing at the same time on stage, so he has very good vocal enunciation and delivery as an actor. A lot of people assume that his acting skills are not as good as his looks, but through the various dramas he has appeared in so far, he has proven his solid acting skills that do not lag behind his beauty. Here's a list of his drama works. His first drama appearance as a supporting role was in Click Your Heart 2016, followed by School 2017, Where Stars Land 2018, About Time 2018, and he takes the first lead role in Extraordinary You 2019. Then he finally established himself as a globally renowned actor through The King's Affection 2021. This one is my personal number one. If you still haven't watched it, please go check it out on Netflix while they're still streaming. And in 2021, he takes a lead role in She Would Never Know, followed by Tomorrow 2022 and Destined With You 2023. He is really versatile. Is there anything he can't do? However, he does have his share of controversy though. Looking at this particular picture from his childhood, people say that he looks so different from how he looks now, suspecting that he's got plastic surgery. It's 
definitely true that he's noticeably more beautiful now in these recent photos. So I looked up some more pictures from his childhood and... Hmm, I don't know. I think he's still got the same eyes, nose, and jaws. What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to you. Before we end this video, let's check out some more quick facts about him. He's left-handed. He used to be a vegetarian, now he's a meat lover. What a change. People close to him say that he talks about food a lot, like what he wants to eat, what he thinks is delicious, finding good restaurants, etc. He loves mint chocolate. He's a binge eater. When he eats curry, he picks out all the carrot pieces. His favorite part of his face is his eyebrows. He says they look a lot like his grandfather's. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and come back for more video updates later. And if you have any video requests for other Korean actors and actresses, leave your note in the comment section below. 다음에 또 만나요. 안녕히 가세요. Bye.